So in this video, we're going to take a look at setting up a vulnerable application on our device so that we can actually go about doing a pen test on it. And for the purposes of this course, I've decided to use the Android Insecure Bank application. So we're going to walk through this application from scratch, assuming that we basically know nothing about it and see how we can build up the understanding of the application as well as exploit the different uh, vulnerabilities that exist inside this application. So those are our main goals here. So from the GitHub page, you can simply just download the code through this typical download zip option here. And then I've already got this downloaded onto my device here. So I'll just demonstrate exactly what things we need to know and what we need to set up. So inside of here, there's a few important components that we need to consider. The first thing that I want to point out is that there's a usage guide inside of here. Um, I'm going to go over like all the general things inside of this document in this video, but I just want to point you towards the bottom where we have these credentials for two users. So we're assuming that we already have valid credentials for the application to be able to, you know, sign on and utilize the application like any other user would. And we want to demonstrate that using these credentials only, we're able to uh, potentially exploit different vulnerabilities in the application. So that's really what our goal is here. So I just wanted to point out these credentials that you're able to sign on when you need to. And in general, when we're taking a look at this, um, there's a few other important pieces here. There's the APK file, which has the actual app on it. So this is where we're actually able to use the app. Um, so we're going to want to install that APK onto our device, which I'll demonstrate in a little bit. And in addition, we also have this lab server. So this app communicates with a server and it does that through, um, through typically the HTTP protocol. So whenever it posts or gets data from the server, we want to be able to have something set up to actually catch that data. This is all written on Python, which is why we initially installed Python was to be able to run these servers. So let's get the server up and running and then we'll get the app installed and then I'll just um, show us that, you know, how to check to make sure everything is working. So what I'm going to do is in my command window, I'm going to CD into this directory with the Android lab server. So we'll go ahead and CD into there. And then I'm just going to say, um, well, there's two pieces here that we really need to deal with. So in order to get all the requirements for the server, we have to install everything in this requirements.txt file. So to do this, you will do um, pip install hyphen r requirements.txt. What this will do is it will send pip to that requirements file and it will read through every single requirement and install it all for you. So that would be the first step. Now I've already got these components installed, so I don't need to do that portion. Um, but then the second portion, once we've got those components installed is to actually run the server, which we do using Python app.py. So when we run this, it will take a couple seconds um, and then it will show that the server is now being hosted on port 8888. So this shows that the server is now up and running, which means that we should be able to access it through our application. To get the application installed, I'm going to go ahead and launch another command window and I'm going to CD to the root directory of the project. So this directory here on my computer and inside of here we have this APK file. And I can install this to my device, which I currently have up and running. So make sure your device is powered on. And then utilizing the command adb install insecure bank v2.apk. So we're telling adb to install this onto our device. When I run this command, you see it will say performing streamline install and then success. When I come into the device, you'll see that we have this insecure bank app now installed. So when we click on this, it's going to ask us um, about permissions. We could just say continue to give it all the permissions it needs. And then we'll have the insecure banking app. Now, depending on what version of Android you picked, you might get this message saying that this was built for an older version. It may not work properly. You could just press on OK. Generally, it does seem to work quite well on pretty much any version of Android. So you don't really need to worry about that message. But this is the general page that we have for the insecure bank. And this is the main page. So. Um, in order to check that this is working, you would just need to be able to access this page. Now, we can make sure that we're communicating with this server as well, just by typing, you know, something into the username, something into the password. When we click login, it's going to ask us to direct it to the IP and port of the system that is running the server. This will be done automatically for you. So you don't have to worry about filling in any of this information. You can just leave it as default and press submit. Once you do that, the server will be configured. So when we press the login, you should see over here, the actual request come through to display like a message in this case that the user doesn't exist. 
So explore further what sort of things that we can uh, learn from these different messages that we're getting to and from the server. Um, for now, I just want you to make sure that you have your application installed and that it's communicating with the server. So as long as you see um, a message similar to this when you try to log in, you're all good to go and ready to move on to the next video.